from a flagship store to warehousing the homeless, Hilo Hattie on Nimitz is being eyed as a solution to the homeless crisis. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Yanji Denise. The Honolulu City Council and the Mayor's Office have been exploring this idea. KITV Force's Catherine Cruz joins us with the new information. Catherine. Well, it's a novel idea, but is it doable? Businesses, residents, and visitors weigh in, but can the city even afford it? You don't have to go inside Hilo Hattie's Nimitz store to know it's big. It's actually almost two acres under one roof. It's huge, and there's all kinds of possibilities you could do with this space. The councilman first walked through the facility back in March and then organized several site visits with other lawmakers and social service providers in April. They began looking at the warehouse as an alternative to Sand Island as an emergency shelter. I just think it's a better option uh, in terms of uh, its location. It's closer to um, other existing services, IHS. Uh, we would get less complaints because of the area that it's in. Those who work by seem open to it. It might be a good idea just because there's a lot of space over there and at least they'll all be concentrated in one area. One former resident says as far as image goes, it beats seeing homeless people all over popular tourist spots. They were just flagrant on the sidewalks of Waikiki and that's not good for business for anyone. But others are wary. Koala Moa was forced to fence its property to keep illegal campers out. We have you know, had run-ins with homeless um, walking around the property and being where they weren't supposed to. The company says it'll be sorry to see Hilo Hattie go because the tourist traffic is good for business. But doing a deal won't be easy as Hilo Hattie is in bankruptcy. We certainly are open to looking at it. We don't think it's going to be a panacea, especially for the near term. Hilo Hattie already has an offer from a California firm for $4.8 million and the administration says there are other hurdles. We understand from the social services that putting a whole bunch of people into a single facility like 800 is probably ill-advised. They, they much rather have us use a scattered site approach. The city would also have to pay $106,000 in lease rent, which isn't in the budget right now. If the city is serious about taking over the property, it would have to submit a bid by July 27th. The bankruptcy auction is set for August 7th. Now, Hila Hattie says if the city acquires the property, it'll probably move out. If a developer takes over, it would like to maintain a presence on the property and lease back.